Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be talking about Pareto chart custom visual in Power BI. Pareto chart are based on the 80-20 rule, which state that roughly 80% of effects come from 20% of the causes. Pareto chart help to identify and focus on important few factors that contribute the most to a particular outcome. Let us understand in better way through a demo of how it works. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. So as this visual is custom visual, so we have to get it from marketplace. So from your visual gallery, you have to click on three dot and click on get more visual. And in search box, you type Pareto. Now you can see the Pareto visual here. So click on this. And here you can see the detail about this visual. And on your left hand side, you can see pricing, product, publisher, etc. And as the price is free, so you are free to add to your report page. Click on add button to add this visual to your visual gallery. So as I have already added this visual to visual gallery, so I will close this window. Now in your visual gallery, you can see here the Pareto visual. To add to report page, just click on this visual. And now this visual is added to your report page. And now from my data table, order data table, I will add a product name as a category for this visual and sales amount so as you can see the visual is ready now and bar represent total sales and line represent basically cumulative percentage of sales so as you can see here 84.67 percent of the sales are coming from three products that is mountain frame road bikes and mountain bikes remaining 16% are coming from other products that is we have a long list of product as you can see here so that is the reason it is called 80 20 rules now let me do some basic formatting for this feature so let me go to the formatting option and if you want to change line color you can change let me make it red color and in the percentage text i can also make it in same color so as you can see. Now in the axis, I will change the unit to make it in thousand. So as you can see, the unit is in thousand now. And in the bar, you can also change the color of bar. So I will not change all. I will only change for one bar. So this color is changed, changed now. Now I will go down. And if you want to change the level color of font size, you can do it from here. So I will directly go to values and in values, I will select unit as a thousand. So as you can see, the sales amount is also in the thousand. That's all for this video. I request you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.